have you ever asked any AI to give you some Godot code and when you wanted to paste it in some script, basically it didn't compile or work as expected? So in this video, we're going to be digging deeper into this topic, why it happens, some possible solutions and everything that you have to know about it. So for example, let's start to do some basic tests, okay, with this scene that I have set up. So what I'm going to do is that I will copy all this code. So with control A, you can select everything and with everything selected, you can press control C to copy it. And I will go back here to ChatGPT in this case. Uh, this video is not sponsored by ChatGPT or anything like that, by the way. I am part of the plus plan, which as you can see, is something like $20 every month. Uh, so it's even like a paid subscription. Okay? I'm not using ChatGPT free, which sometimes can do uh, can do wrong stuff. So what I will do is I will paste this, I will paste this code and I will just tell GPT uh, add double jump to the player. Okay. And let's see what we end up having. So here we have the code. The only thing that I'm gonna do is copy it. And once again, I will select everything with control A and control V of victory to paste it in. And here we have the code that ChatGPT gave us. So without reading everything, I will just press play and let's see if we end up having it. So we should be able to jump two times. Okay, and yes, it seems that we are able to jump just two times and that everything indeed works fine. So the logic is pretty simple. It hasn't added like a lot of things. The only things that were added were, were this uh, constant max jumps and then a variable over here. And then, well, here it was resetting the jump counter when grounded and decreasing the jumps left when jumping. So it was something pretty simple and it was able to do it very simply. So what I want you to, to, to know here is that uh, these kind of AIs do work with things that are related to logical thinking, to the stuff that is not 100% related to Go.4. So this code would work in the exact same way in Go.4 and Go.3. And the logic between um, programming languages would be very similar. Why is this going to be important? Just take it into account because it's gonna be. And for example, here what I told ChatGPT is to using twins add a squish animation when it reached the floor. And basically here, first of all, it told me add a twin node to the player. But in reality, if you know, in Go.4, uh, this twin node does not exist anymore. This is something that used to exist in Go.3. Okay. And uh, so if I wanted to copy this code and paste it over here, I would have a problem because I don't have this twin node. Okay. This node does not exist and I cannot attach it. Okay. Um, to the player. Therefore, if I wanted to run this code, it would basically fail. Okay. So it would not work in the expected way. I have an error here, as you can see, which is going to tell me, okay, this is a, a, a node that has not been found. So basically that. So even if you ask, if you tell the I am in Godot 4, will this code work? And it's going to tell us, yes, the logic I gave you does work in Godot 4. And here it tells you Godot 4 compatibility nodes. Twin is now a proper node, not created via create twin. And here it tells you, you must manually add a twin node as a child. So this is not really the solution. You know, if you go to the stable documentation, what you're going to see is that in order to create a twin, you have to use scene tree dot create twin or node dot create twin. And you even have an example. Okay. But here is nowhere mentioned that you have some kind of node for this, at least in Go.4. So here you can start to see the disadvantages of this. And the thing here is that even sometimes when you use web search, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So, um, so relative to this, we enable web search. So maybe it's able to understand that this is not going to work in Godot 4, but I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, it should be able to, as soon as it tells us, uh, that it, it, it is working. Yes. Yes. Your code structure and logic are correct for Godot 4, but as we have seen, it's not. So you can see that indeed it's not, it doesn't. So what I will do is that I will put this prompt, okay? And I will actually go here to this and I will try to just copy this. Okay, maybe, yes, maybe let's say something like this. I don't know if just is gonna be able to read all this or the message, the message is gonna be accepted, but since I am in the plus version, it should be kind of be able to work. So let's just give it a second to load in. So now when you do give it the documentation, here it tells you, okay, yes, you are right. Uh, here is the corrected version. So let's see if it has been able to do what we wanted. So let's copy the code. Let's first of all see if this actually compiles. It seems that there are no errors. Uh, what is weird is that it's added these underscores over here, which I don't see that much really. Uh, so that's a little bit weird. 
Uh, but anyway, let's just press play and let's see if we end up having that squish. So we don't have that squish right now, but at least we don't have any kind of error. So let's see if we are able to see what's actually going on here. And here there are a couple of weird things. First of all, if I put here a code for playing the squish, okay, so just print play squish. Just I want to check if this is being called. This is actually not being called and because there is a problem. Okay, as you can see, I have no message here when I should be having some. But this is not related to go to for itself, it's just that the logic does not work. And the problem is basically with this was on floor over here because it's actually checking, okay, if not was on floor, which basically this actually means if was on floor equals false, okay, if was on floor is false, then play the squish. This is basically, this is in physics process, so this is basically to avoid this squish from being played all the time. But how the logic is right now, it doesn't make many sense because uh, much sense because here we are always setting was on floor to is on floor. So what this happens is that okay, when this is on the floor, okay, this is going to be true. So what's on floor is going to be true. So if we are on the floor, this is always going to be true. Therefore, play squish will never be played. And as you can see right now, when we run the scene, we still have like some problems. We do have the squish, but it's an endless loop. Basically, so when we jump, we don't anymore have the squish, but it's not correct the logic still, okay? So now here I have, I believe it's gonna be the third version of physics process, so let's see if this one would actually work. Nope, it's still not working, so I'm not gonna be trading this anymore because for something that simple, it shouldn't be taking this long, so imagine even in more complex situations. So what I wanted to point out is the following. When these AIs were being trained, uh, let's say in 2022, 2023, something like that, even 2024, 2025, whatever it is, um, the, the latest version of Godot was Godot 3. When, as you can see, Godot 4 was released on March 1, 2023. So what happened is that a lot of these models, including ChatGPT 4.0 model, has been trained mostly, I would say 90%, in Godot 3. So that's why the logic itself, even if it's not a problem directly related to Godot 3, just the logic itself of Godot does not work correctly. Okay, and it's because of this. Um, so is there any solution? So the first solution is maybe waiting even more time, okay? Um, and it will eventually catch up on this. Uh, so that's one solution. Or if not, what you have are a specific AIs designed for Godot. The only that I know, uh, it's not it's sponsored once again, it's called Game Dev Assistant. So this is an AI that is, let's say a ChatGPT, okay, to, to make it uh, short, okay, an AI um, that's gonna allow you to directly ask for different stuff, okay, and it's gonna directly do it. But it's 100% integrated uh, inside of Godot. It has even um, automatic actions, so with just a button, it can create a scripts, scenes, everything, as you can see. So you can add notes, scenes, whatever it is. So that's something that you can do with other uh, AIs because you have to copy and paste code or follow instructions. Uh, and this AI in particular, I did find it to be way more accurate in a lot of things, and in other things, it may not be that accurate, okay? Um, so yes, right now, it's very complicated to get some kind of GPT or whatever it is to help you, okay, on your game development journey in Godot. Because if you use ChatGPT, for example, with Unity or other engines, I, I personally use it with Unity, okay, and it's amazing. It, it doesn't really commit a lot of mistakes. So this is the um, like the the situation right now. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below.